I'm over it. I'm super over the shop remodel. Um, I'm sure many of you guys are wondering, like, when are you guys going to get back to guitar building? Um, and honestly, Matt and I are in the exact same boat. All I want to be doing is working on guitars right now, but um, this is such a necessary part of the business. Um, because of you guys, um, you've allowed my company to be successful, and I, I can't be more grateful than I am. It's a very scary part of the business owning, um, spending all this time and money to do this, but uh, we're excited about it. But um, yeah, I'm glad you guys are part of the journey with us too. Welcome to Drift Guitars, I'm Chris. And I'm Matt. And we're on day 462 of our shop remodel. At least it feels that way. It, uh, does, it does feel that way, Yeah, yes. but uh, we're gonna make a special announcement. Stumac has graciously partnered with us, and so from now until the end of the month, that is July of 2022, if you go to the landing page that's on the link below, you will get 10% off your order. They are helping us rebuild our shop, and uh, they're also gonna help you with a little bit of savings. If you're if there's any new tools you want, anything you want for the tool for the summer, go uh, go buy it and get 10% off. Without further ado, I think we're gonna show you guys some uh, just some work on what we've been doing so you can kind of uh, follow along with us on That's this right. journey. Uh, yes, very exciting developments here. So we'll actually show you our day now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that the main workbench is completely finished other than the drawer fronts, it's time for us to move our attention over to the corner where the CNC machine is now gonna live. And I've had these cabinets sitting up here forever and all they do is just collect crap, as you can see. Uh, we're trying to remove all that crap now and figure out where the heck we're gonna put it all. Uh, luckily for us, when I installed these originally, they were just on French cleats, so super easy to take down, no big deal. Now the CNC machine I've had for about, I guess four years sitting in this corner. So we obviously had to disconnect all the cables and all that stuff and clean off all the crap and crud that was sitting on it from all those years of use, even though I do clean it pretty regularly. And originally, when we moved it over into the corner, this is the orientation that we put it in. All right, so we got the CNC machine actually moved over to this wall from the wall that was over there. Um, but I think we might try to rotate it because part of our thought process here is that um, we can give John, who's gonna be running the CNC machine, a little bit of space to have a desk over in this area. Um, but then I also just hopped up. He needs, he needs a really good place to color. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> but I just hopped up in the attic as part of it, our consideration is dust collection. I hopped up in the attic and uh, as the great Adam Savage said, there's your problem. Uh, all of it was packed with dust, but we're gonna spin it real quick and see if that gives us any more room. All right, now that we've rotated the machine, I think all three of us agreed that this was a better layout. Uh, but then there was just uh, the matter of kind of figuring out exactly where and how we would add kind of a workstation for the CNC machine, meaning like a tiny little desk um, so that John could have a keyboard and mouse as well as a second monitor to run Mach 4 on. Uh, and once again, we ended up landing on the elegant solution of French cleats. Uh, we're beginning to see a theme here in our shop where French cleats are gonna be utilized all over the place. Um, they are just a wonderful and magical and simple tool to help with organization and uh, mobility throughout the shop. So uh, we got this uh, half inch sheet of plywood that we had left over from some earlier work and we just had to get her nailed into the wall. Um, these are one inch thick uh, barnwood panels that I have up on the wall. So sometimes when you go to screw things in, it can be a little bit of a pain in the rear. All right, you guys just saw me and John hang up the sheet of plywood that's behind us, and you're probably going, why in the heck did they do that? They're covering up all that barnwood. Uh, a, it's just barnwood, who cares? It's honestly because I was too lazy to do sheetrock work. Uh, <laughs> but we hung this up, uh, and we have a plan for it. We're actually gonna do, um, very similar to the main workbench, we're gonna do a bunch of French cleats. Uh, plus, it's gonna give John, who is our CNC operator, uh, some space over here to be able to kind of like have a teeny little desk. Uh, a spot for us to store our CNC bits. Uh, as well as a spot to hang up all of our different clamps and stuff that we use. Um, basically, we, we just want to utilize French cleats as much as we can throughout this shop so that we can make like kind of working stations that can travel with us as we move through the shop. And I think that this is really going to work well. Um, you know, it's going to look prettier here in a minute, and the guys keep telling me that it doesn't matter how it looks, and I hear that, but it does. 
It does. It's got to look good. Uh, like I said, I know these videos are short. They're a little bit kind of run and gun, a little bit rough around the edges, but we figure some content is better than no content. And the big takeaway here for you guys, if you are watching this, you're enjoying it, you're seeing part of our journey. Uh, if you guys also are interested in buying some new tools for your shop, then check out that link that's below where you will get 10% off literally anything that you buy. So buy expensive and often for the next nine days. Uh, and you will get that 10% discount. And uh, we appreciate you guys being here. It is Friday. I'm going to chip away a little bit at this this weekend and the dudes will be back here on Monday and we'll get some more done. Uh, probably at least another week or two of shop remodeling, I think, before we're completely done with it. At least another week. Yeah. But uh, we thank you guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Let us know if you have any cool ideas that we can implement here in the shop. And we'll see y'all very shortly.